reconciled, be reconciled with God to love him with all your heart and your soul and your strength and your mind. Yes, sir. There are benefits, yeah, yeah. There are benefits to being a Christian. Psalms 103, 1 says, Bless the Lord, all my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Verse 2 says, Bless the Lord, all my soul, and forget not all his benefits. But you notice that this, this psalm starts with, Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Then it says again, bless the Lord, O my soul. Oh, and by the way, don't forget his benefits. <laughs> we should be so busy blessing him that we have to be reminded of his benefits. I said that we should be so busy blessing him and serving him and praising him that somebody has to tuck our cups and remember he also has benefits. <laughs> Are you busy blessing him? Are you busy praising him? Are you busy serving him? But well, we kind of flip it on this here. We're so big, we're so worried about benefits, we don't bless him. Uh, where is that? Memorial Day weekend, when we, we remember those who have given their life in service for our country and died in, in, in wars from the American Revolution all the way up to wars that are going on now. They say the military has some great benefits. But people in the military are there to serve, not get benefits. Uh -huh. right. They get benefits, but they're not there for benefits. Right. Right. In the end, they're there to serve. That's why we tell them, thank you for your service. Wait on the Lord. We're, we're, we're Christians because we love God. We want to serve Him. Not for the benefits. We, we, we've got our priorities a little mixed up sometimes. Wait on the Lord. Say your focus on the Lord. Then the scripture says, Be of good courage, and He shall strengthen thine heart. Good courage is a good description of patience. Patience is waiting bravely, waiting with a good attitude, waiting with good expectation. Mm. But of course the question is, how can I have courage? How can I be patient when I'm going through? That's when you set your faith. Mm. You set your focus on God. You set your focus on the right thing. And then you set your faith. Trust his decisions. Trust his timing. Trust his plans. Trust his love for you. Set your faith. 